figured out what I'm gonna do today while Jessica's not here. And let's put up these little motion sensor LED lights. Thinking about slapping one right about here, as well as two up on the front of the van, kind of over the driver and passenger side doors. That way, if we want it to be light outside, we can always have the motion sensor lights on. Say we're working on something outside or maybe grilling. We want plenty of light out there. And with the motion sensor, we don't have to worry about forgetting to turn a light off. It'll just kick off after whatever time we set it to. I'm thinking I want the back one right about here. Let's make sure there's nothing on the interior that's gonna hit, but I don't think so. Nope, placement looks good. Luckily for this one, we're only gonna be using like a 5 16 drill bit. We don't really want that big of a hole in the side. And I think this is plenty for these little 20 gauge wires. No going back now. I know you weren't wondering this, but Kill mat smells terrible when it's burning. And since I just cut this kill mat, it's burning. So let's find our hole here. Just like with all the other metal we've been working with, always clean it up and hit it with some Rust-Oleum. That way you avoid any potential rust spots in the future. Clean up that excess. We just want the want that bare metal cleaned up. Sweet. We'll let that dry for a few minutes while we go ahead and use the same butyl tape system to make a uh, a gasket around this. Then we'll adhere it on. Same deal with sealing everything else. We don't want any potential leak spots here, so we like to go a bit overboard creating seals. So I think we're just gonna put flex glue all around this and then on the inside of the wall, put a board so the screws adhere not only to the metal, but through a board as well, just for extra support. So we're gonna throw this flex glue around the edge here to work kind of as a gasket, keep water out. Let's pull these wires through. You see them yet? Yep. Okay, don't pull. Hold it right, th just hold the wire. Don't, don't let go. Okay, pull slow, slow, slow. Okay, make a little adjustment. Okay. Well, besides having to upgrade slightly larger screws to attach to a piece of wood on the inside, which by the way, wasn't necessary. I just wanted it for extra support. Um, besides that, this thing was pretty easy to install. All we gotta do is wire that up. I'll probably put it on a switch and we're good to go. I'm thinking the other light is gonna go somewhere right about here. Just trying to figure out how we want to get to it on the inside might be a little tricky to run those wires. Doable, there is a little gap back here, but I think it's gonna be pretty tricky. So we're finally making it to our wiring. 
Yeah, or more of, I kind of cheated and started off camera just to get a feel for it. The plan for today is run all of our wires behind the frame, get them all connected up to the boxes and receptacles where they're, where we're gonna have light switches and uh, a few plugins. I doubt we're gonna hook it up to the inverter and batteries today. We still gotta frame out around the, uh, around the wheel wells and the batteries but we can at least get all our wires run and a couple of our lights, especially the exteriors in today. We're gonna start with these little exterior LED lights. They're just a two wire 12 volt. So we'll be able to wire those directly to the battery with a switch. Um, we already have one up, but the next two are gonna go at the front. That way we'll have two on one side and one on the driver's side to work both as outdoor light when we need it and kind of as a deterrent. The last one we put in was pretty easy, but essentially all we're gonna be doing is using these little wire connectors, uh, push-in wire connectors that we picked up at Lowe's. But if you get it right, which I didn't, it crimps the wire in there so you don't have to worry about it popping out. We're gonna make this a little bit easier here. This is just 20 gauge wire, but these thread into our uh, wire connectors a little bit easier. If you've made it this far, hopefully we're doing something right. So leave us a like and be sure to subscribe. It helps us a ton and makes it easier for you to see this whole build come together. So here's where we're going to put our little three-way wire nut here, just to keep it in parallel. It works. Our outside lights are on. Next, we're gonna test our little Max Air fan. And then uh, we'll disconnect our battery and go back to work wiring. But at least we know this works. So the nice thing about this fan is you can do uh, multiple speeds on it. Pretty neat.
at this point we're pretty well done wiring um, everything is in place we got our lights up top we got our mess of wires coming out here we got all our switches in place where we want them and we got all our light cables ready to go pretty much all we got to do now is skin the inside and we're good to good to start plugging everything in one thing we did decide to do is put our charge controller up here there'll be kind of a shelf going along this top i'm going to put the solar charge controller up here as well as the inverter on off switch. So it's easily accessible and we can always look at the reading on here. So one thing we will need to do is trim this little foam piece off right here. So that way we can build our wall out and uh, have plenty of room to skin it. So here's how much space our little half wall is gonna take up. Hey, future Jesse here editing this and i figured i'd go ahead and say get ready for time to get a little bit weird in these videos because we didn't do things in an exact order um we're gonna jump between wiring some framing painting bed frame flooring countertops um i mean we're gonna be all over the place just be ready for that right now i'm playing around with the idea of putting kind of little recessed pockets in here that way we can always store little stuff uh, just right along this wall. I don't know if we'll do that or not. It might make it too cluttered. Not a particularly major day, but the hope is to skin this wall over here I mean, we got to clear all this out and make some room, but if we can skin this wall, that makes it pretty easy to frame out our wheel well, as well as our battery box. And then uh, we can hook up all of our electrical over here. I got one more wire to run, but the main goal of today, skin this wall all the way down, you know, cut out the windows and light switches. We got one outlet. I don't think it's going to be anything too difficult. It's gonna take a little while, but oh well. So this last wire we're gonna run, we're just gonna have dead ended right here. Cause eventually on the bottom of this cabinet, I want to fan over the bed. You know, it, it gets hot. It'd be nice to have a uh, low amp, high efficiency fan. In next week's episode, we put up our ceiling, frame out a half wall and skin the inside of our ProMaster and finally make it feel more like a house than a van.